One step at a time, you will win. Move away from your comfort zone. Go out there and live your life. Take the risk or lose the chance. Go out there and find out if you have what it takes. I urge you to level up. You're a warrior. Warriors don't give up and they don't back down. Now's the time. Don't waste it. Not today. It's 5 a.m. and your alarm starts ringing. You know that sound and you know that feeling. You question in your mind, should I even get out of bed? Should I hit the snooze button? And the warmth of your bed tempts you back to sleep. What are you going to do? Are you going to hit that snooze button? And the comfort of the pillow is calling you back down. What do you do? Do you get up or do you hit the snooze button? The temptations are stronger than your will to get up. You hit the snooze button and fall back into a deep sleep. Why do we play this game? We set an alarm for a reason. The night before, we had intentions to move towards our dreams, to work on our goals. But then what happened? How did so much weakness overcome you in the night? Between setting the alarm and 5 a.m., you failed yourself. Now you're back in a sleep, failing, losing, and wasting your time. You set that alarm to get up, so get up! Maybe the reason you set the alarm wasn't strong enough. Maybe the thing you're waking up for isn't really what you want to do, or maybe you just aren't ready yet. So many of us believe we've found our passion or desire for life. But those same people hit the snooze button in the morning. Maybe you don't want it as bad as you say you do. When you find the thing you were destined to do, oh, you will never touch that snooze button. When you find that thing, you won't even need an alarm. When you find your true passion, there's no alarm clock needed. Your passion will wake you. Your passion will rip you out of bed. Your dream will leave no doubt in your mind. If you hit that snooze button, you've already lost. You set the tone for the day. You started your day on a loss. If you can't beat the snooze button in the morning, what on earth makes you think you can defy all odds and fulfill your dreams and desires? If you lose the snooze button, you're going to lose it. Take the risk or lose the chance. Have faith in yourself. Take that risk. One step at a time, you will win. Earn your respect with proving them wrong. You have the power to change your future. Be the person you wanted to become. If we keep doing what we're doing, we're going to keep getting what we're getting. The time is now. What are you waiting for? An opening? Here's one right now. Create one this very minute. Listen to yourself. Listen to what you need. You need to take a risk now. Don't wait one more second, one more moment for the hand on your clock to go past the 12 one more time. It's not worth it. Living the same routine. Look at yourself in the mirror like every other day. Sit on the train on the same seat every day. Do you really want that? Do you really want to wake up tomorrow bored of your life again? Tomorrow, wake up and do that thing you've always wanted to do. Take that risk you never wanted to change. Don't let anyone hold you back. Wait. Work. Win. Imagine yourself 10 years from now. What do you picture? Take a second to think about that. Something negative, positive, do you really see this picture coming true? Change your mindset from negative to positive. You need to believe that the picture will be real. Believe that it is real. Because your future is your reality. You need to change now to make this picture happen. And you need to believe that it's going to happen. No one else can make this change. Don't rely on anyone else but yourself. Trust yourself. Trust yourself that this will happen, that this change will emerge. Wait, work, win. You're the creator of your own destiny. Do you believe in fate, destiny, predestined success? Have you ever imagined this fate being negative? No, because fate always will take you in the right direction. 
Not only can fate change you into a better person, you can control it. You create your own future. You just don't know that you are at this very moment. Take control now. Make purposeful decisions. Decisions with meaningful intentions. Take control of your destiny. Make your life worth the time you put in. Your life is worth more than the pain you feel now. The pain you feel working to improve is the power you feel to make it in the future. Remember who's in control. You. Direct your life in the right path. Take your destiny, look at it face to face. Put your hand out and grasp it. Hold it in your fist. Create it. Paint a picture of your future. A picture where you can see yourself. The future where you can improve. Improve yourself as a person. Improve yourself for your future. Sculpt your life for the better. Make sure you're always in control. Because you have the potential. The potential to make it past your fears. Don't look behind your shoulder. Try not to look on the horizon. Look up now and be present in your life. Own your life. Don't let anyone else live it for you. You have this. You have this under control. There are only two options. Make progress or make excuses. Close your eyes. Imagine you, feet firmly in the ground, hands placed down past your waist, head up high, breathing steadily. You're looking out and you see two tracks. One track has green grass, fresh and soft. The sun hits it perfectly. The path is drawn out. It's the easiest route to take. The other path is different. You can only see as far as five meters. It looks dark, dangerous. You would have to make it on your own. There's no path and no map. Next to this path is a sign. The sign reads, in one mile, lush green open field. Which path do you want to take? Did you want the comfortable option, the route everybody else takes? Do you really want to be everybody else? It's overrated. The comfortable option has no promise of success. What's on the other side of the path? What if that path never ends and follows you through life? If you are too scared to take the other path, the path that's dark and the journey is unclear, if you're too scared, you haven't clicked on the right video. Because in order for you to live a life full of success, you will have to take risks. With this route, you have promise. Promise that path doesn't continue. On the other side, there is wide open space, space full of liberty and potential where you can finally succeed. Think again. Imagine yourself physically walking towards the sign. Imagine yourself walking down this path. Feel the unknown on your feet, the thorns brisk past your skin, the darkness closing in. Imagine yourself just about to give up. Imagine yourself almost looking back. No, you look forward, you sprint. What do you see? You see the field. You see the light escape through. You can see the trees and the path doesn't seem as dangerous. This is because you're not focusing on that. You're focusing on you, the field and the opportunity it brings you. You made it there because you didn't look back, because you didn't even consider taking the easy route. Now open your eyes. You need to take the right path even if that means stepping off the path. If that means starting over, just know that it might not be today or tomorrow that you make it to that field, but you will. Now isn't the time to give up because you're only starting. Now is the time to step back and analyze your life, to know what makes it better and what you need to move away from, because only you have to make that choice. So tell me, what path are you taking? There is no elevator to success. You have to take the stairs. Make your success define you. If you don't make the effort, how do you think you're going to succeed? You need to feel exhausted from the work you've put in. That way you can really feel satisfied that you've worked so hard that now you are where you are because of that. Climb away from the past you, the part of you that stepped away from risks and pressures because you were scared. Don't be scared of the consequences, when the consequences could be you moving forward. Move on from the past you, away from the you that was holding you back, moving you away from openings and opportunities. Don't let that part of you take control. Let the ambition take the reins. 
Take the stairs to success. Work up a sweat. Work harder, up and up, even more steps forward. These steps will move you further than you have ever gone before. They will take you to the determination to feel the pain, but move past it. To feel the panic, but make it through. Crush and run through it. This is what you were made to do. To make it as far as you can past the finish line. Rise above the pain you feel now. Because the pain you feel now will be the achievement you feel later. The time can be now. Walk up the first step now, and before you know it, you will be at the top of the staircase. Remember your dreams are just as hungry as your demons. Just remember to feed the right one. Be open to yourself about your fears. Be clear what is what, what effect it has on your life, how it can alter you as a person. Be clear what your fears feed on, what they crave. Whatever they need, starve them. Freeze them out. Make them hungry. Hungry for success. Success is what will feed your dreams. Follow that success and become a victor. Stop feeding your demons with your confidence, your dreams, and your pride. You need them to move forward, taking steps away from your demons, steps towards your goals and your successful future. Take the time now to change your mindset. Change your mindset to make sure you're feeding, fueling the right attitude. Take the wrong attitude and throw it out the window. You don't have time to stand still and stationary. Move, run, take your life forward. Put yourself first. If you really wanted to change, you would make this transition now. Change now to get what you've always wanted, to receive the praise you constantly deserve. Be selfish, fuel the progress you're making, make yourself feel better, do this for yourself. Improve, alter, and upgrade your life to more than normal, because you can be more than normal. Your future will be more than normal. Take the risk or lose the chance. There might be an opportunity right now. There might be something you want to start or take the plunge on. But you are scared of the what if. You are scared of failing, so you don't take the chance to find out if it was part of your success story. You want change, but you don't want it as much as you want to stay the same. You might think you want it, you might think it is your passion, but if you're not willing to risk the life you have right now to reach the one you want, you don't want it as much as you thought. The choices you make now will affect your future and change your life completely. The time is now to make the changes you need to alter your life forever. The right choice is around the corner. You need to feel the desire to change in order for it to happen. You need to crave the opportunity to alter yourself. You have the power to change your future. You have the power to improve your future. Your mindset needs to change positive. Then your life can change positive. Then your future can officially change for the better positive. Finally, you deserve this change. You need to change. Wait. Work. Win. Earn your respect. Stop expecting it. People automatically think they deserve respect, but nobody owes you anything. You are not owed respect. You let your ego get in the way when you expect respect. Go into a situation with no expectations. Earning respect is a hard thing because you may work so hard that you deserve respect, but you may still not receive it. It is progress, not perfection, that you are striving for. One step at a time, you will win. Perfection is not sustainable. Perfection will destroy you. Perfection will turn you into the mad scientist. Perfection will make you lose your mind. But progress, progress is what you need. Progress little by little every day. That will lead to success. Progress will make you consistent. Progress will keep you on track. 
You are the company you keep. You will become the friends you hang around with. Ask yourself, am I bettering myself each day? You may think you can change their ways, but you will become what the majority of the group is. If you are unable to do this every day, you will never be successful. If you hang around with a group of dozers and lazy people, that is who you will become. You will become lazy. It is the small wins every day that add up to the big wins at the end of the year. If you expect to change the lives of multiple people and yours too, you're mistaken. Trust me when I say changing your own life is hard enough. What makes you think you can help other people before you have even helped yourself? It is step by step that we climb the mountain. We forget that it was one step at a time. When you hang around with people who hustle, you either get to the same page they're on or they will drop you as a friend. We get so caught up in trying to get to the top that the peak of the mountain can freeze us into fear. So scared of the journey ahead that we don't even get started. You will compete with each other in a healthy way. If he wakes up at 6 a.m., I'm walking at 5 a.m. If he goes to the gym, I'm coming too. When they work hard, you work harder. And when they see you work hard, they work even harder. When your goal is so big and wild, fear can freeze you too. You see, completion. I always say to people who have great self-belief, imagine what you are capable of. Imagine if everything you can achieve. No, imagine if there were five of you working on the same goal. When the day is over, am I better at what I do? Have I learned more about my passion? Do I understand what I want that little bit more? So many people will tell you what life is like. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Life is like a swimming pool. You dive in, but you don't know how deep it is. Life is like a movie. You write your own ending. Life is like the ocean. It can be calm, it can be rough, but it will always be beautiful. Life is like a roller coaster. It has its ups and downs, but you can enjoy the ride. Life is like a camera. You have to focus on the important things and capture the great moments. Life is actually like a 10-speed bike. We all have gears we don't use. Life is like a baseball. You don't hit every pitch, but make the most of the ones you do. Life is like a dice. You don't know what comes next. Life is like a game of chess, changing with every move. Life is like a quiz. Sometimes it confuses you. Life is like a rainbow. You need rain and sun to make it work. Blah, blah, blah. I'm not saying that any of these are wrong, but everyone has an opinion on how life is. But it probably doesn't apply to you. It probably doesn't mean anything to you. Stop being told what life is like and find out for yourself what life is like. Humans are so complicated that one quote does not apply to you. One statement does not define how you live your life or how life is meant to be. There's one thing for sure, life is going to be hard, but it's up to you to find a way to navigate your way through it. It's up to you to find the right path and it's down to you to find your way to success. Go out there and live your life. Go out there and find out if you have what it takes. Don't listen to people's opinions on how it's going to be for you. Define your life. Define your success. Write your own destiny. Live your own life. Don't follow the path that others have walked before you. Lead a new route and make your own path. The key to success is to start before you are ready. Move away from your comfort zone. Step outside the line. Move out of the queue. Start your own line. Move your own opportunity. Be the person to create a team rather than to be part of it. Grow 
and move past your own boundaries. Stop being the follower. You are more than following someone else's rules. Write your own rule book. Tomorrow, begin. Start the journey and take that risk. Are you questioning that you're not ready? Trust me, you're always ready. You've always been ready. You've never been unprepared. Take this message as an opening to make it. Move it. Move it forward. Your success never sleeps. Your potential never rests. Stop mourning the loss of your inspiration. Let this new spark of inspiration take control. It's always there. You have to take control of your potential and step up to the podium to spark that inspiration. The rest is up to you. It's up to you to change your life. Grab the day for what it is, an opportunity. The opportunity to move forward. Discipline your life on track. Walk on the right path. Take this journey with a struggle. To feel the satisfaction, you need to feel the pain. When you feel like quitting, remember how you started. We've all started something we didn't want to finish. A school assignment, a business opportunity, perhaps dreams you never thought were possible. Have you ever grasped a task you knew you needed to complete and you're just about to give up on it? If you wanted to complete this task, you need to believe that you can. Picture yourself, standing, proud the task is finally finished. Whether that takes hours, days, weeks, or years, imagine yourself so close to that task and finally having it completed. This completion no longer has to be a dream. It can be a reality. Make this happen. Face reality and see how much you can change. Because you can. This no longer has to be in your imagination. Just keep your final results embedded in the back of your head. Keep your motivation strong. Stop thinking that quitting is an escape plan or even a path that you can take. Because the only thing you're escaping from is success and the potential to succeed. The only thing you need to escape from is failure. You're strong enough to make it past your fear of struggling. Move past this and move towards the struggle. Embrace the struggle. The story can't be completed without an ending. We all know how everyone's story starts and how your own story starts because we control that. We make sure we begin on the right path. I know people think the ending can't be controlled, but I say it can be. You can. Think now, how do you want your journey to end? What do you want to achieve by then? Do you have an idea? I know I do. This can be your time to make these things happen. There is no such thing as too soon. Time to square up and start writing the page where you thrive. Don't close the book now. The chapter continues. Don't sabotage your own life. It's worth more than that. Don't feel yourself backing up in the wrong direction. You're on the right page, and you need to take action. The action needs to break your wall of self-doubt. Your actions need to have a purpose. Because you haven't got the time to wait around for someone else to write your ending for you. Because only you can control that. Control your future now. Take some time now to think about your life. Think about your principles, your morals, who you are as a person. Take a long think about how these morals and principles affect your life, how they affect the people around you. These principles are what define you. 
These principles will affect your future. Imagine you're on a train, sat comfortably, the air is perfect, not too busy, not too empty. The train stops. You can get off. After stopping at the station, the train can keep traveling. Not everyone can get off at this stop. The village is deserted and dangerous. No one has anything to say for it, but only the bravest and the most successful have the power to get off. The rest of the journey is quiet and the last stop is safe and secure, familiar. The question is, the train is stopped. Are you getting off? Imagine this, you do. You're cold, you're scared, and you're putting yourself at risk. Right now, you don't want to do this. You want to get back on the train, but you don't. You walk forward through the pain and the fear, and you see it, an opportunity, a fruitful city, full of opportunity. The only reason you made it here is because you moved past your doubt. You embraced danger. You put yourself in and took the risk. Do you know what this takes? Courage. This is your life, and you won't get the opportunity unless you take the risk. Get off the train before you miss the opportunity and success will soon escape you. Stop waiting and stop jeopardizing your future and take the threat because you don't know what could be on the other side. The hard work puts you where good luck can find you. Think about the reason you work so hard. Think about your motives for success. Why you want something so badly. The reason should be for you and you only. Now is the time where you can be selfish, for you to improve, because you can. Hard work puts you in the right place. The reason you're in the place you're in at this moment is so you can move forward and not back. In order for you to move forward, you need to work hard. Work hard, harder than you ever have before. And you need to feel the pain, discipline yourself to grow. What are you waiting for? The thing you can do is move forward. You have the potential, we all do. So use it, use this opportunity. You now have to change the way you see life, change your mindset and change your actions. Take the risk to make it further towards a better life. Once you've made this transition, things can finally fall into place. What you don't know is they already are. Stop looking for happiness where you lost it. We've all had those moments and we've hit rock bottom. The point where getting any lower doesn't seem possible. But once you've reached that point, the only direction you can turn to is up. So that's the direction you'll turn to. After you've decided to change, you need to change your attitude. Make the transition for the better. For your attitude to change, you need to find your positivity again. This takes time. Stop going back to where you started. Grasp a new attitude. You will find it when progress can be made. When you work harder, make it past the doubt you had before and move towards progress and success. Stop holding yourself back. Break through your doubts, your insecurities, because you can be defined as so much more than that. You haven't lost your momentum. This is just a setback. This setback doesn't mean you can't move forward. Use that point as a lesson. Educate yourself. Use this to make yourself stronger. Because this is the most valuable lesson you could have. Work with no expectations. The most important person you must gain respect from is yourself. Self-respect. When you value yourself, you will seek the respect of others less and less. You will require compliments less and less. Don't limit your challenges. Challenge your limits. 
You need to have substance. You need to have something about you that shows you are hardworking, that shows you are disciplined, that shows that you follow your word. You must follow through. We stand in the way of ourselves, full of doubt, not wanting to take a leap of faith. If you say you are walking at 5 a.m., continue to do that day in and day out. If you say you train harder than everyone else, you need to show that is the case every single day. Have faith that things will get better. Don't take the challenges as setbacks. Don't take a step back. Take the next step forward. A step forward into success. Surround yourself with people willing for you thrive, change, and grow. Have faith in yourself. Take that risk. Open the opportunity for yourself. Who said you couldn't? Make your life interesting. Change the way you see yourself. Change the way you see the way you live your life. How about now? Are you scared? Don't be. Open your door to more opportunities. Now's the time. Don't waste it. Not today. Stand face to face with your fears. Time won't wait for you. Only you can take this risk. If you don't change, neither will the rewards. If you're not willing to change, don't expect everything around you to. So now's the time. You want things to change? Change them. So grasp the chance. Now, don't let this chance slip away. Don't stand in your own way. Embrace your challenges. Use them as lessons. Lessons to inspire you. Improve yourself. Take each one as a step closer. A step closer to recovering yourself in order to finally take care of yourself. If you are still striving to be better, then together you are more likely to achieve that goal. Transform yourself. Phase into the next chapter of your life. The chapter where you can become stronger. The chapter where you can become powerful. The chapter where you challenge your limits. That chapter is soon. Trust yourself. Trust the journey you're on and take that risk. Now I'm going to tell you the most important lesson I ever learned in my life. Because it changed the path of my destiny. It started at my lowest point. I was struggling. I was in a hard place. I was suffering in my worst moments. We've all been there. I like to call it my dark place. You see, I had just lost my job. My bank balance was less than zero. I had a failing business and a family to support. Only my ambition had led me to this point. But this is the thing that most people actually admired me for. And it almost destroyed my life. I was down, but I was not out. I took the last bit of my energy to an old school mentor of mine. We used to call him the guru. He said few words, but you know, his message was always right. And I was so low that when we met, I didn't even ask him any questions. I just told him. I told him that I regret trying. In my dark place, I told him I regretted the hard work, I regretted the sacrifice, I regretted the dedication I had put in, and in that moment I regretted it all because I didn't have anything to show for it except for a bunch of broken dreams. He said, regret? You know what, meet me here tomorrow and I'm going to show you regret. So then that very next morning, he picks me up, I hop in his car, he doesn't say a word. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, where the hell are we going? And after 15 minutes of driving, we pull up to the middle of nowhere, outside of a retirement home. And I said to him, I came to you for help and you're going to bring me to the middle of nowhere? He says to me, no, you came to me with regret and I'm going to show you true regret. He walks me up to the door and just before he leaves, he tells me, I want you to go in there and I want you to speak to these people and I want you to ask them about regret. You look into the eyes of some of these people and you're going to see true regret and you're going to see real pain. You're going to see the pain of broken dreams because when you're 90 years old and your body doesn't work how you want it to, you know what real regret tastes like. You still have those dreams that you were pushing aside, but now, now, now you really can't do them. 
Now you really can't start that business. Now you really can't be the athlete. Now you really can't do it because your body no longer allows it. Now go in there and speak to these people and see what true regret is. I'm going to be back here to pick you up tomorrow. So I spent the whole night talking to all kinds of men and women, wise and foolish, brave and cowardly, regretful and fulfilled, those with failures and those with successes. But it wasn't the winning or losing that made them develop these regrets. It was so much more simple than that. It was not trying. I could see contentment in their eyes. I could instantly recognize that they would rest easy. I could immediately spot the ones who felt accomplished in life. After speaking to them, I realized that not all of them were winners and not all of them were losers, but all of them were triers. All of them had given it a shot. All of them had taken the chance on their dreams. And it was with that knowledge, the knowledge that they had tried, that they felt no regrets, that they had given it their best shots. Unfortunately, in a retirement home, it's much, much easier to see those people with regret in their eyes because they were the people who never attempted to live their dreams. You see, spotting someone with regret, it was instant. Misery was written all over their faces and you could tell there was a deep sadness lurking inside and an empty feeling just overshadowed their persona. And that night, I was told so many stories of regret. I was told so many stories of these what ifs, heartache and pain. So many knew their dream. They had lived with it in their minds, dwelling on their aspirations for their entire lives, but they never brought it to life. And now them knowing it was physically impossible to fulfill their dreams, man, the sadness they felt and the sadness I felt for them was overwhelming. You see, regret is a sad thing to see, and the majority of people I spoke to that night had regret in their eyes, embedded in their lie. When Guru drove me home that next morning, he asked me, now son, what are your regrets? I had nothing to say because I didn't feel any regrets. He asked me, what did you see in their eyes? I told him regret. He said, no. What did you see? I said, pain. He said, no, what you saw was them looking back, wishing they were you. You don't realize the privilege you have. If you still have time left to make a mark, and if you still have time left to live your dreams, then you will have no regrets. And if you're still able to work on your goals and ideas, there are a billion people wishing that they were you. Stop with the regret. Start feeling gifted and start feeling blessed. You have a chance to go out there and make a mark. You still have the opportunity that so many don't. Understand that you have the privilege to succeed in life. The sad thing is that if you're in a bad friendship group hanging around with people who do not want better for themselves, then you need to leave those people behind. You are carrying dead weight. I have learned over the years that if they don't want better for themselves, they most likely don't want better for you. They may say that they do, but if you are progressing forward and bettering yourself, then they would be losing a friend because you are in a different place. This is why sometimes your best friends hate on you. This is why they say sly remarks or sneer at your dreams. Take the risk today. Take the risk that no one else is willing to take. Be the person to stand out. Stand up for yourself. The choice you make now, this very moment can alter the way you live, how your path will be drawn and the future you will be given. Don't let your self-doubt and emotional boundaries get in the way. Some people just won't change. That's the way of life. Some people are destined to stay the same and so stuck in their ways. All the time you spend trying to change them is a waste. Cut them loose.
Cut them loose so you can live bigger and bolder. Cut them loose so they no longer hold you back. Cut them loose so you can achieve your dreams. Stop carrying dead weight around. Surround yourself with success. Surround yourself with hustle. Surround yourself with passion. Surround yourself with people who lift you up, not pull you down. Surround yourself with who you want to be. Success is the hardest thing to achieve because we set where the finish line is. And if it means something to us, that line is far in the distance. You're not going to get there alone. No one ever did. It does not make you more successful to do it alone. It does not make you any better. Take the helping hand, listen to the people who did it before you, and understand that the more help you have, the better chances of success you will have. Build a team of people who are just as passionate about the things as you are. Take the risk or lose the chance. Opportunities do not present themselves every day. You must be prepared for when they come, and then you must be willing to take a chance on it. But expecting that a lifetime of opportunities are going to happen every day is a loser's mentality. Thinking you will get another shot is a loser's mentality. Thinking you can choose to do this in a few years is a loser's mentality. You must understand that this shot you have right now could be the only one. Wouldn't you rather fail doing the thing you wish to do than pass on the opportunity and never find out at all? Breathe in and out. Take a breath. When the world around you seems to crumble, breathe. When hard times hit, breathe. When you fail, just breathe. Because when bad things happen, failure tries to suffocate us into submission, smother us into quitting. When it's not going to plan, we act on instinct, often make the wrong or bad decisions. But if we just take a moment and assess we can learn. Bad situations are actually good situations. You just don't know how to extract the good from the hard times. The lessons learned from success are good, but the lessons learned from failures are greater. If you fail in enough time, you will succeed. It is that simple. If you give in to failure, you will never win. Fail your way to success. Learn to love the hard times. Learn to enjoy the lesson life has to offer you. 